What's up guys, Future Game Dev here, and welcome to Unmechanical. Surprisingly, I thought I had already done a video on this series, but apparently I have not. And uh, it's probably a good thing in that I do this because everybody I've been hearing about talking about the latest free games on PlayStation has no idea what this game is. And it's a little gem that I've played before, so I wanted to share it with you guys. Um, so you play as that little robot there, I honestly don't remember if he has a name or not. If it is, it's only in the game's description, because I don't think they actually say it during the game. It's also got this uh, really cool way of doing the intro, so instead of starting on the menu, I started here, because I knew we would get the name of the game to some extent. So this is a platform slash puzzle solving game. Um, I'm trying to think of the best way to describe it. It's not like your usual platforming because you're floating. You fly in this game instead of, you know, uh, walk left to right and jump on stuff. But it's kind of the same principle. So there's a lot, and I mean a lot, of interesting puzzles in this game. A really strange story to try and figure out behind it. Also, this is the extended version. So there's actually... A new episode to this that I haven't played yet, which is kind of exciting for me because I played this game the first time it came around on PC. I don't think it was right when it came out, but uh, it was a lot of fun, and uh, I just wanted to share this with you in kind of short episodes. Also, I want to say that if you're watching Uncharted, I don't know how it happened, but all three of the episodes came out on the same day which I, I, I don't know how that happened. So this is us. We can float. We can also grab stuff so we can grab rocks. Um, I'm pretty sure I need this rock to some extent. This one's going to be fun to kind of go through and uh, look for trophies. Oh, yep. Come on. Beat the rocks through. There we go. I'm trying to remember what the first puzzle is. I guess I'll see it eventually. Ooh, hello. I think all of the buttons do the same thing. Okay, so triangle is my hint. Um, am I going through here? Or am I weighting this down? I don't remember. I'll just take one for good measure. Ah, here we go. We'll just hit the lever with a rock. That works. Open up. In case you were wondering and the uh, intro screens didn't say it, this was made in Unreal. And it is beautiful. This is a great looking game. Pipe. It's open. Okay. So this this part here is just kind of teaching you the basic mechanics. Kind of like uh, the original tutorial in Portal. Buttons, levers, stuff like that. And the fact that you can grab stuff like this and open it all up. Ouch. Ouch. This guy's also really kind of charming. In his, in his own little way. Ouch. Ow. Just rattling around in the pipes as we're going down. Hello? Are you here? Is that you? Okay, how does this work again? Oh! Um. Oh, I remember this part. I remember this part. This is going to be really helpful so we can kind of zip through this. These are going to be shorter episodes, by the way. They're not going to be your 20 or your 30 minute. I'm probably going to keep these more around 10 minutes. Because I think... I mean, this game is free on PlayStation, so if you want to play it, go play it for yourself. There's a lot of really interesting stuff to see here, um, and I think I might actually play through this on my own. Also, I still have to... Oh, come on. What do I have to do now to get it open? I also have to finish um, Limbo. Uh, I've been working on the, the trophies for that, and I have to get through uh, the entire game which, if done right, could be about an hour, but without dying more than five times. So, I've been I've been working on that. No, you stay back there. Oh, let's get the rocks. Get the rocks. Move them out. That little ball just wants to roll down there, doesn't it? This guy can really lift a lot for his size. These are some big rocks. All right. Now you can fall down in there. There's some really complicated puzzles in this game. Some of them I've actually solved without understanding how I did it, 
which is really kind of funny. But at the same time, it's uh, well, it's a good thing and a bad thing, I guess is my point. Uh, this is kind of one of them, except this one's more like uh, Simon. See? One, two, three. Okay. Then we mimic. Oh, oh, come on. Blong. This is one of the easier puzzles to solve. Bong. Bong. Yep. Oh, it's getting longer. It's also a little slower paced than your normal Simon. Like, that kind of moves fast after a while. And... Okay, so my computer decided it needed to reboot because of automatic updates. And I can't, I can't help it when it does that because it decides it's gonna do it and it's not gonna wait for me to say yes. Or if it did wait for me to say yes, I couldn't see it. And here we are, but at least I checked and as far as I can tell, most everything is saved. Why are the lights going crazy? What's ding-donging? Oh, hey. This is a thing. I remember these guys. The orbs. So, this is one of the big purposes of the game. To collect these orbs. Do I open this up? Is that how this works? I think so. And I will deposit the orb in there. And it won't let me follow. But I think if I go through here, I'll see where it went. Ouch. I think. Ouch. <laughs> Flying is still not my strong suit. Okay. Hey! Oh, the turd locked it. Oh, not this puzzle. Oh, how did this even work? Okay. I remember this. And I need... Hey! Jerk, he's still watching me. Okay. So I need this. And the boxes. Just so we're clear. I need all of it. And then, what I'm gonna do... I need to figure out... Which one of these do I need open? And which ones... Don't I need open? So... I need that one, that one, not that one, and that one. Okay, I think I have enough boxes for that. Now the boxes on their own aren't gonna weigh down the buttons, but when I throw that big bar on top, that should do it, I think. I, I'm pretty sure if I remember, if I remember correctly, if I recollect, oh, 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 there we go, it's all open, there's my orb, how you doing, alright, let's get going, pretty sure we dropped this thing off, oh, yeah, this was the puzzle, I never actually figured out how I solved it, I just have to figure out exactly what it does, um, no, uh, this one, this one, no, not quite, uh, this one, oh, crap, <laughs> ooh, here we go, I think, I think I can work with this, uh, no, not quite, uh, do it again. Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, no. Give that another turn. This one? No, not quite. Oh. Yes. Oh, dang it. Thought I had something there for a minute. Yes. There we go. There we go. Got it. Nailed it. 
See, that's the one, you know, you just kind of keep pulling the buttons until you figure out what you need to do. But I could never entirely figure out how much each of those turned the respective things. If that made any sense. We need to go deeper! First trophy, all right. I think that's gonna be a good break for this episode. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. This is unmechanical. It's very strange, but very fun. So I suggest you come back next episode to check out more. But until next time, unless the internet explodes, I'm the Future Game Dev. You guys take care.